Good morning from day four, West Island Way. Ooh, it is 8 a.m. and all my neighbors have already left. It's completely empty. Well, there were just two tents over there, well, three, three tents spread out. So it was much less busy than the, pre the previous night. And it was super quiet when I arrived here. I came back from the Ben Lomond hike and arrived here and everyone was watching the sunset and just sitting there having fire and just no one was talking, it was super quiet. And then I arrived and very quickly started fire and, and cooked my dinner and I was felt sorry that I was making so much noise. <laughs> so and then the night before, yeah, it was just was complete opposite. It was really, really, really noisy. Everyone was talking, laughing. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, different experience. It was much nicer yesterday, I'd say. And it <clears throat> yeah, shows. Um, I think it's it's when you start the hike on a weekend, like on a on a Sunday, you are always in a much bigger group because most of the people start on a weekend, right? They arrive maybe by plane or by train on Saturday, and then they start hiking on Sunday, like I did. So we were in this big group of people, and now I skipped one day, yeah? and like because I did this day hike to Ben Lomond, and now I'm in the group in the group of people who started hiking on Monday. So that's much less. So it's the campground is, is like almost empty. So going to, it will be interesting to see how many people are on the on the path today. Yeah, but now let's have breakfast. Finally, ready to go. <laughs> Everything clean. Yeah. Put all the leftover wood here. It was a lot of wood for two nights. Look at that. Yeah, it just needed, I don't know, one third of it. <laughs> okay, it is. Let's start the watch. 20 past nine. I'm late. Must be the last one here. Okay, let's do this. I'm speed. On our way. Just left the campsite. Had to fill up water bottle and wash my porridge pot. Beautiful morning. The sun is shining. Wow. <laughs> but I already know what is ahead of me. It's a the stairs, the climb, so didn't put on sunscreen yet or anything because I will sweat it out immediately. Fresh shirt because the other two shirts, the black one and the red, they're just bad. They need to be washed tonight for sure. Wow, sunshine. We'll be like this the whole day. Our destination. Someone behind me? No. <laughs> Our destination is. I have to remember. Let me look it up. <sighs> Pine last campsite. That's what I wanted to say. It's 28 kilometers, so then one of the hardest stretches. What I read, or read, very hard stretch. Ah, uh, good way along the lake. Let's see how that turns out. I picked the Bindlers campsite because it's halfway of the West Highland way and I just need a shower. I haven't had a shower since I left Glasgow. Because <laughs> there was just no... I could have washed myself in the lake, of course, the last two days. But huh, I knew how oh, I know a shower is just nicer. And it's also good to restock with some food maybe and yeah just halfway relax a little bit. 
also after this long hike. However, there are many wild camping options. I picked up, for example, a couple of uh, wild camping spots just before you leave the lake. So it's around eight kilometers before Beinlar. So they would just make it 20 kilometers today. Ah, let's see how it goes. If it goes, if I'm very slow, I might just end up there. But I'm speed. I feel good today. I'll bring it for you. Hello, I just arrived at the climb, uh, the, the one that we did yesterday already, just out of the campsite. And I met another YouTuber who was who helped me with my tripod. Yeah, I was his cameraman for a little while. <laughs> and he also has a YouTube channel, it turns out. That's it's right, also... yeah. I'm making a video as well, Paul Messner. Paul Messner, I will subscribe and then uh, put his channel name down in the, in the link list. Brilliant, <laughs> thank you. Subscribe to his channel too. <laughs> All right, uh, All right, enjoy the rest of your and trip. And you're doing West Island Way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many days? Um, seven days for seven us. Days. So we're, we're not doing any... I'd love to do Ben Nevis, but I don't think my legs will allow it. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got enough time <laughs> in the morning, haven't we? Just to Probably when you arrive there, you're so strong that you can easily do it. I yeah. did Ben Lamont yesterday uh, with just this big backpack, but with no, there was nothing in there. Yeah, yeah. And it felt really, really good. Like, well, it was really strong. We were tempted to get our backpack sent by the, the courier today, weren't yeah. we? Yeah, we <laughs> just so, so we had a nice, easy walk, but now we're okay. doing it the hard way. You're going to bind last today? Yes. All right, then. Yeah, we'll probably see you there then. See you there and see you yeah. on the trail again. Just how much you got in that pack, by the way? How much? How yeah. much does it Wait. weight? I uh, at home it was 17 kilo Ooh. kilograms without food and water, so I think. But now I've already finished half of my dry food in the, okay. in the muesli bars, so I would say maybe 18 now. Yeah, 18, yeah. 90 kilos. still a lot in there. Yeah. I don't know what I've not weighed mine to be honest, but it's okay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be carrying that. That's All for right. sure. Yeah, excellent. Okay, I'm speed. Well, that's my my, my motto on this. Yeah. <laughs> this. yeah. I'm slow. I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, not too bad. It was good. So having done it yesterday already, so I knew what to expect. Whew, just take it easy. Sticks help. <laughs> I cannot use the sticks when I'm filming. Damn. Stairs finished. It was easier than expected. Whew. So the other YouTuber I met down there at the stairs, Paul, Paul Messner. He's actually a celebrity. <laughs> More than 180,000 subscribers. That's impressive. Uh, so I checked his channel real quick and I'm 100 percent sure I've watched one of his videos. He does uh, out outdoor gear, testing, uh, outdoor adventures, many, many things. So I'm sorry, Paul, that I hasn't been a subscriber yet, but I am now. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Oh. Whew, great day. Pretty nice. I definitely would live there. <laughs> Just 
just met two guys, the German guys that I met at the wild camping place near Dryman. So on the first day, they overtook me. Grüße gehen raus. They overtook me and turns out uh, they already did almost the whole second day. I don't know how far they came, but then uh, the shoes of one of them, the soles gave up. He couldn't continue. So they decided to walk, walk all the way back to Glasgow, buy new shoes and start over again. How crazy is that? Wow, and now they overtook me again. Oh wow. Großen Respekt. Big respect. You are speed. <laughs> Lochan Memorial Dween. Sorry for my pronunciation. So this is the only allowed wild camping spot in this camping management zone at Loch Lomond. Uh, what I've read is that it's not so big. So well, not so many spots. You have to book ahead and the bookings open four weeks before the date you want to book. And then I read in some read on the internet that it books out super quickly because not many spots and you know okay you have to be and book four weeks ahead and then it's gone within seconds it looks in high season so I didn't even try I was happy with Salotch campsite especially the second night it was really nice of course this spot is much closer to Rovadenan and would have helped me yesterday for the hike up to Ben Lomond because I'm already hiking since more than one hour so it's very close to Rovadenan would be a good base to go up to Ben Lomond. Back at the Rovadenan Hotel and Bar. I think that's where many people stay overnight. How many of the hikers stay overnight if they don't camp? It was very busy yesterday the bar when I came back from Ben Lomond. Okay, I have some takeaway. Don't need any takeaway here because I know that soon the honesty box will come again with the one we saw yesterday where I left the blue gas canister cartridge gas cartridge I'm sorry <laughs> so I will get my snack there Reaching the honesty box again. Busy as always. Looking <laughs> forward to a nice snack and drink. Guess cartridge still there. What do we have today? No. Snacks finished. Thank you. Ben Spakes, honesty box. Let's move on. Oh. <laughs>
This is where we started the Ben Lomont hike yesterday. Means after this, everything will be new. Yay! On our way. So this is all the end of the camping management zone looks like. Means from now on wild camping is allowed again. So I'm not looking for something now but just interested in the spots and how they look like. So I will keep an eye open and let you know if I see something cool. Well this is the earliest. <laughs> basically 100 meters from the sign right next to the road here but I think in case of an emergency late at night you're tired and it would do it Okay, approaching a very important junction for the West Highland Way. It is the junction where you have to decide if you want to go down there or keep here on the road. The sign West Highland Way points down because that's the, that's the original route. But if you feel not feel confident or you're weak or you have any, any sort of problems following the road this road and the path will eventually meet somewhere again uh, do your research I don't know where they meet and how they meet but I know you can use the road and then it's much easier but also a bit more boring Coming down to the beach, and this for sure is the the most obvious way to wild camp. A lot of space here. You can walk along over there. Here, it's like a big campground here. Okay, here's another spot just next to the path here and would fit one tent someone has been before there and it's just yeah at the end of the beach that I showed you so plenty of options and another spot here yeah. like easily all together fits Ten tens. <laughs> and another one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of room here. Uh, but I wonder how busy it gets. Because, of course, everyone knows. If you do wild camping, you do a little bit of research and then you already know these spots. <laughs> For me, I can already see more spots. This is all very close together. It's all, I would say, I don't know, 200, 300, 400, not far, meters away from uh, the junction up there, the sign pointing down from the road. So, if you're on Rodanan, or if you that's your your goal for the day to camp there, then just continue a little bit and you find all these beautiful spots. There's another beach here on the 
You can see someone at the campfire. And then I see another spot coming here on the left hand side. If you the beach is full or you prefer staying by the path. And there's another one. Yeah. A lot up and up and down here. As you can see by the distance from the beach, I'm up now, I just climbed, and now it goes all the way down again to the beach. So yeah. Ooh, sweating. It's it's not technically difficult, but it's just drains the energy. Oh yeah. I see someone coming. Found a beautiful spot for a little break. Whew. My private little beach. <laughs> well, of course, it goes on over there and there are more people. Yeah. The cold is home now for a couple of minutes. Whew. Wow, so beautiful. Good spot. Why? Good. Interesting how the landscape has changed and we are suddenly in this green forest. You can still see the lake in the distance through the through the forest. It's not a forest but definitely different. A lot of moss. Ooh, 
and suddenly a big big oh, bigger gravel road again oh, a bit windy Whew. definitely the most beautiful day so far very very beautiful path these blue flowers the moss the way the path is winding around the lake that was really beautiful my favorite so far it was hard definitely with the big backpack very energy draining but very rewarding also yeah i am speed <laughs> Ooh. seems like after the detour through the forest path going down again and maybe closer closer to the lake again oh. I start to get I'll be exhausted it's not good because I'm not sure it's already halfway I don't think so it's 2 30 p.m. yeah I would benefit from a break Oh my god What is going on? <laughs> Whoa Whoa double rainbow in the sky It's still around two to three kilometers to a place called Ives Night pronunciation Ives Night Hotel where there should be a water tap but I ran out of water and I was super thirsty so I had to get some filtered water from the stream tastes all right yeah, super tough day so after Ives night, which is optimistically spoken two kilometers away, after that it's still another nine kilometers to my destination today. So 11 from now. And it is, sorry, changed the hand. It is, oh, I did not, whew, did not resume my, my watch. Okay, good, that checked. It is 20 past three. Yeah. 20 past 3 and still 11 kilometers depends how these 11 kilometers look like it's 11 kilometers like what I had so far here at the shore then it's going to be hard Whew. but we have to earn it we have to earn our our shower <laughs> well why do I say we have to earn it I have to earn it I don't know if you have to earn it you can have a shower all the time I have to earn my shower <laughs> oh I'm already talking like a crazy man oh. Since we have arrived at Ives night, path goes up here, seems like, and then above the waterfall, let's see, 
So that was the best night. Nice hotel, slash bar, slash restaurant. Many people were eating something there and drinking. Many hikers. Uh, just used the toilet there. Funny thing is you have to take off your shoes when you go inside. So <laughs> you go in and then it's like full with shoes and boots from the hikers and kind of smelly. <laughs> but inside everything is carpet, so that's why. Very soft. All right. Now this is supposed to be all red. The most. Uh, how do you describe it? The hardest part, because the path here, after it was night, is not in good condition. Let's see. So <laughs> I read somewhere that it's not a good in a good condition. So sometimes you have to negotiate your way. <laughs> It, yeah, it's a nice description. Let's see. Normally it means it involves using your hands. I'm fine with that. Just hope that I don't get in tr into trouble with the big backpack. Let's see. So far, path looks all right. Not a problem here. Like all the path before around the lake rocky you have to make sure you know where you step <laughs> a bit steep downhill that's it Nice to have such a rocky part here. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, like it's not a normal path anymore. You have to use your hands sometimes and shift the balance, but it's not climbing. Just be careful and have your hands free. Put your sticks away maybe. Or put them in one hand like I have. See, like normal steps here. Sorry, I hope I don't sound like an asshole. Because I know for some people it could be super, super difficult. Especially if you live in a country where you don't have such paths. So we... Normally, I grew up in an area with no mountains. But now, since 12 years, I am in a mountain area. And... I think the beginning I also found it more difficult, but if you do it regularly, you I think you become better in seeing the path. You know where you can step, where you shouldn't step, how your how a heavy backpack behaves when you shift your weight and things like that. So you know in advance, okay, if I step there, my backpack will do this, so I should put my body there, and it's just this these things that. But I think the main thing is that you. You see the path, yeah? I can... The best I can describe it with... You know, you have, you, have a, you have a river and you have stones across the river. Or you have many options which stones you can use to cross the river. If, if you have done it plenty of times, you don't have to think, you just see it and you, you move. Yeah? If you've never done it before, you get into trouble because you don't see the path. You just do one stone and you stop. You do a second stone and stop. And then you lose balance and fall. Yeah. In order to cross the river safely, 
you have to keep on moving <laughs> and then you you've crossed it it's the same in the mountains it's good to see some steps ahead so you don't bring yourself in a difficult situation where you have to go back maybe going back is never good sorry a lot of blah blah more of the blue stuff huh. yeah, there's some smell it's not super intense out of the rocky section now Whew. Some midges in the air. So far, nothing has bitten me. I think these are the early midges. They don't bite. That's what I've read. <laughs> All right. Nice. Did I just say I'm out of the rocky section now? Well, turns out I'm not. Some white campers here. Whew. Okay, like literally one hour later, I'm out of this rocky thing. Oh god, I'm going to tell you on the way up my result of this. Whew. Don't know how much further it is. I think above or across one of the hills, and then my wife. Maybe I'll make it before eight. Let's see. I'm super exhausted. <laughs> so, yeah. I have to admit, I had a big mouth. And I said, oh, that was so easy, blah, blah, blah. No, that was not easy. It was not the, that the path was super difficult. But it was difficult enough that together with the length, I don't know how many kilometers, it got super, super, super hard on me with this heavy backpack. Everything hurts. <laughs> oh, looking forward to a shower, really. Never thought I would desire a shower so much. Ah. Okay, now last climb for today and then I'm officially dead but have also arrived. Ah. Ah. Am I speed? Okay, motivation. I am speed. I am speed. <laughs> Rain covers out. It's not hard rain, but drizzling and it accumulates over time on the backpack, and then it's not so nice. Now approaching, sorry for the pronunciation again, approaching Down Buyer, Down Buyer, Down Buyer. What is it? It's a shelter for hikers. And yeah, you can sleep in it for free if you want. Yeah. 
comfy. <laughs> so obviously really people staying there. There would have been more space. Was a couple, one woman and someone was sleeping there. I don't know. So I think maybe two or three more would fit in. What about that? Do you mind I go through here? Do you mind? Hello. Oopa. Okay. Thank you. I go that way, up. Bye bye, Loch Lomond. It was nice with you. I have to move on. The speed has to move on. Oh gosh. <laughs> not anymore, not today. But for the motivation, I am speed. Have a good day. Yeah. Everyone has an own comfort zone. Sorry for outputting all my thoughts here to the internet. Me exhausted, me exhausted. <laughs>